Welcome to the pre-snap podcast presented by Linestar, your top NFL player prop bets for Thursday night football week 10. It's a AFC North showdown between the Cincinnati Bengals traveling to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Alongside my co-host Tyler Riemann, I'm Shannon Somerville. Excited to break down this game and give you the best player prop bets. Plus, we'll also have touchdown calls and then give you our idea on how we're playing the sides here in this one. Right now, the Baltimore Ravens are six and a half point favorites at home for good reason. They started the season losing two games, but they've since won six of their last seven games. Meanwhile, the Cincinnati Bengals four and five coming off a nice kind of get right game against the Las Vegas Raiders. And now these two teams collide. However, the Baltimore Baltimore Ravens looking like the superior team. Vegas thinks so as well. This is the number one scoring offense in the NFL, the unstoppable duo of Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry. Will the Bengals have the answer to contain them? That's kind of the biggest question. And basically anytime a team has to go up against these guys, it's like, how do you even go about defending that duo right there? Tyler, any first impressions of this game? I mean, we saw this game a few weeks ago and there were mm-hmm. fireworks. I hope we see fireworks again, but it is Thursday night football, so it could be a little bit slower than everybody thinks it is. That's true. The last time the te- these two teams met, Baltimore won it 41-38. Um, it was like a last minute drive there at the end and they sealed it with a winning field goal. Last week, we've been doing well in our Thursday night and our Monday night football prop bets. On Monday night football, we were 2-1 and one in our picks, plus uh, last week on our Thursday night pick, our Halloween picks gave us plenty of treats. We were 2-1 and one in our main player prop bets, plus we also cashed a Garrett Wilson touchdown goal. He had two touchdowns in that game, but uh, Tank Dell went over 59.5 receiving yards with 126. Devontae Adams went over 59.5 receiving yards. He had 91, and then Garrett Wilson touchdown. So we cashed on those three picks right there. So hopefully we can run it back again today. The tool that we are using is the Props AI tool on the Line Star app. If you haven't checked it out yet, highly recommend you do so. And there's also a way for you to get a free trial if you are interested. Just download any of the following partner apps. You got Underdog, Sleeper, Chalkboard, and Parlay Play. We've got links below. The key is to use the promo code Line Star and play with at least a dollar and then you'll get a nice bonus deposit. Plus you'll also get that one free month of line star. So you can check out the props AI tool for yourself. So if you can do us a huge favor though, before we get into our picks, we've been giving out some winners here on the show. So if you could like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment below, we would greatly appreciate it, but we would also appreciate it because we like to give out money. And if we go three for three, one randomly selected commenter will win $60. Basically we put our money where our mouth is on this show. And we put together an entry with all three of our picks and we're just giving out the winnings of those picks we're using underdog today but you can place them in any sports book so if you'd like to tell us you can do so as well all right let's get into this thursday night game and before we get into our picks we do have to note some injuries that might um might be important here let's go over them cincinnati the following players did not practice as of tuesday tight end eric all who's actually out for the season with a knee injury offensive tackle orlando brown also a knee injury wide receiver t higgins this is one to watch it could be very impactful and defensive tackle bj hill out with a rib injury running back Zach Moss to the IR with a neck injury and wide receiver return man Charlie Jones out with a groin injury at practice. So keep an eye on those injuries as we get closer to kickoff, but definitely some ones that could impact, especially the player prop market. Next up, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson did not practice with a knee injury. However, he will be playing on Thursday. Tight end Isaiah Likely did not practice with a hamstring injury and defensive end Brent Urban Uh, did not practice with a concussion. So it will be tough going for him to play on Thursday. But as far as Lamar Jackson, he should be good to go, but not looking good for Isaiah Likely here on a short week. So there's definitely some areas we can target in the prop market if those players are out in this one. But we're going to start things off with Props AI's pick of the night for Thursday Night Football, again, using the Line Star app here. And we're going to go to Derrick Henry over 91 and a half rushing yards. Line starts projection here, 96.6. I know this line is so high, but this is Derrick Henry, Henry we are talking about. He had 92 rushing yards last game versus Cincinnati. And going up against Cincinnati, they're 23rd in rush defense DVOA. We just saw Saquon have 108 a few weeks ago against them. 
And this guy is just a beast. And what I also like here is if the game script is anything like the odds makers think it is, giving uh, Baltimore might get out to a lead, in which case I think they might just play a little bit conservatively. They got to face Steelers the following week and just have Derrick Henry run the ball. What's your take on this line here? Yeah, I mean, it is Derrick Henry. We're going to see high up rushing lines from him. He mm -hmm. is averaging 106 yards a game on the road. And that game that goes up to 130 a game at home. So this game is in Baltimore. I like the line to go higher. He's been over in six of nine. And he's averaging 22 attempts when he's at home. How it breaks down is they give the ball to him yeah. when ahead and win at home. And I think it's likely that uh, they have both of those scenarios. So all in Derrick Henry. Just got that dude is just unbelievable, and uh, hey, he's just having an awesome season. It hey. is also worth noting that there are some scattered showers in the forecast for Thursday night in Baltimore. I believe it's like a 26% chance of rain. Tyler, I know you're not someone who, you know, puts too much weight into, you know, the weather forecast in this one. You got to be careful about it because a lot of times we tend to overestimate how much weather is going to impact things. But it is worth mentioning there um, that there is some weather in the forecast. Sometimes if it's, you know, raining too much, obviously that lends itself to more of maybe a ground game, less passing, that sort of situation. I don't think the weather is that impactful from the early reports I've seen, but just wanted to mention it for all you guys out there in your handicapping process. So let's get into Tyler and I's pick of the night. Tyler, what you rolling with this Thursday? I'm going to go with the RB1 in Cincinnati, and that is Chase Brown over 23.5 receiving yards. Our line star projections 28.2, consensus 30.3. Baltimore's 22nd uh, versus RB1 on our team defense tool. But they have mainly, they're mainly that high because of the reception yards and the reception TDs. Running backs have had a lot of success catching the ball out of the backfield versus Baltimore. Chase Brown had 80% of the snaps last week without Moss. I expect those numbers to still be similar this week. And then also you have likely no T. Higgins, no Eric All. So there are some more targets available as well. I like Chase Brown receiving props. All right. For my pick as well, I'm also going with a, a Cincinnati Bengal in this one. We're going with the tight end, Mike Gusecki. We're going over on 43 and a half receiving yards for Gusecki. Line stars projection is 47.3. He's been only averaging 39 per game, but the key factor here, as Tyler alluded to, is there's no T. Higgins or Eric all in this one, so there's going to be more targets available for Gusecki. He's actually been over in three of the four games that T Higgins was out. And in fact, in games without Higgins, he's averaging just over 70 receiving yards per game and also has a 20% target share and 25% air yards share. So he's going to get the volume and he's going up against a Baltimore Ravens defense that has been susceptible to opposing tight ends. In fact, they rank 27th in pass defense DVOA versus opposing tight ends. So I like the spot here for Gusecki. We also have to consider the game script in this one. If it's a negative game script for the Bengals, that could bode well for some of the pass catchers like Iseki in this one. He's a big dude, former Penton Stater, 6'5", 250, you know, former the tight end build there, the prototype that we like to see there that could be hard to take down. And he's been awesome lately, especially when T. Higgins is out. So yeah. we got to go there once again in this Thursday night matchup as uh, Joe Burrow looks for some people – T Higgins is out. I think that really impacts things. Any uh, comments on the fact if T Higgins is in or out or how you're playing this one? Uh, yeah. T Higgins being in or out does change this big time. I mean, he yeah. kind of works as the wide receiver too when T Higgins is out. I mean, leaving Miami, they tried to have him franchise tagged as a wide receiver, not a tight end because he played the slot so much. So, you know, he does have a skill set that they can use out wide if yeah. he wants it. So, all right. That's what we're rolling with on Underdog. Derrick Henry on his rushing yards. Chase Brown over receiving yards. And Mike Gusecki over on receiving yards. Hey, if there's any game to take the over on, it's one that's got a game total of 52 and a half on Thursday Night Football. Tyler, I know that you kind of tend to 
to be wary of those Thursday night football games that tend to be a little bit slower in this one. But uh, these are two very high powered offenses that it could be a fun game in this one. So those are the three we're rolling with. If you'd like to tell us, you could do so on underdog. Remember to use that promo code line start when you first download underdog or any of our partner sites that are listed below. So you can get the deposit match plus that one free month of line star. And if you haven't already by this point in the show, do us a huge favor, like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment below because it enters you into our contest. If we go three for three, one randomly select a commenter will win $60. We've been giving out a lot of money over the last few weeks. So hopefully we can do so once again after this Thursday night contest. And we will announce the winner on the next Thursday night show, just so you guys can come back and make sure to tune in to see if we gave out a winner or not. All right, let's get to touchdown calls of the game. Tyler, where are you headed for an anytime touchdown in this Thursday night AFC North showdown? I'm going to stick with the Cincinnati Bengals running back Chase Brown minus 120 to get in the end zone. Zach Moss is on RI. He played a- <laughs> RI, IR. He played 80% <laughs> of the snaps last week. He's explosive. He can score from anywhere. He ran a 4.440. The guy is electric in Baltimore, 22nd versus RB over the last five games on our team defense school tool. So let's go uh, Chase Brown. All right, for my pick, I'm going to the Baltimore Ravens. And listen, the guy that's going to find the end zone in this one is Derrick Henry, but his price tag is minus 300. There's like no value there in terms of if you're placing that bet in the sports book. So I'm going to go to Zay Flowers for the Ravens at plus 145. Three touchdowns on the year, including two last game against Denver. And he's been an absolute beast over the last five weeks or so he's had over 100 receiving yards in four of the last five games and the only one he didn't he was kind of hobbled by an ankle injury going up against the Bengals who are 20th in pass defense DVOA versus wide receiver ones and they're also 27th in opponent red zone scoring I think this could be a great day for Zay Flowers his connection with Lamar Jackson just looks awesome and overall this offense is just humming on all cylinders right now with Todd Monken at the helm calling all the right shots for that offense and I think he's going to call one shot for Zay Flowers in this one to take it in. Listen, if they are in the red zone, it's more likely going to Derrick Henry. But, you know, Zay Flowers is a guy who can absolutely get some serious yards after a catch, make guys miss. I think he finds the end zone in this one. Plus 145 is a nice price tag for us there. We finally get a little little money for that one. Not like the Derrick Henry touchdown, which is just crazy. Minus 300. I don't think I've seen that since maybe last year with CMC. What about you? Yeah, crazy. CMC was, is pretty much the only one, but Henry's been pretty much automatic so far this year. So Definitely. He's definitely automatic in the red zone, but I like Zay Flowers' chances out of all those receivers there. All right, so those are our touchdown calls. Now let's take a look at this overall matchup right now. The Baltimore Ravens favored by 6.5 in this one. The game total, I want to mention that one too, 52.5. I think a lot of people might be playing that because, listen, over, let's see, the over is hit in uh six and three in nine games the Bengals have played this season eight and one in nine games the Ravens have played so I could see a lot of people maybe shading to the over in this one maybe playing the game total how are you playing it I mean I I won't be playing the total I won't be you know actually betting on a side but I do think the Baltimore Ravens win especially you know at home they've yeah. Kind of had the Burroughs number the last uh, season and a half or so. And I think that keeps going uh, Thursday. I agree. I think a huge factor in this one for me is actually T Higgins. If he is out in this one, I just think the Cincinnati Bengals really struggle. They don't really have much of a run game and the Baltimore Ravens have a pretty good defense. I know that, you know, there is the chance that Burrow kind of goes off with Jamar Chase. That connection is pretty lethal, especially considering the Ravens have been a little uh, on their back end, on their on their secondary. They've been susceptible to the deep ball, so look out for that one. But I think without T. Higgins, it's a lot easier for defenses to game plan and just really lock down Chase. So I think that's a huge factor in this one for me in – And if T Higgins is not in this game, I got to lean with the Ravens to, to cover and uh, beat, beat the Bengals by at least a touchdown in this one. I feel like I haven't seen as much consistency from the Bengals week in and week out. Yes. I know that the Ravens did lose to the Browns a couple weeks ago. I haven't forgotten that, but I think ultimately altogether the personnel for the Ravens is just like so talented. It's stacked. 
everywhere you look, it's like a star. Everyone's having awesome seasons for fantasy purposes. I know a lot of people <laughs> are crushing it this season because they've got either Lamar or Derrick Henry or or uh, Zay Flowers, any of those guys. Mark Andrews could have a day as well. Um, I didn't, by the way, Mark Andrews' line got a little high. That I should note that one because that might be a popular one for people to take. It started at like 32 and a half. And Tyler, after news that, um, let's see, Isaiah Likely was once again on the injury report, that shot up to, I think it was 42 or 43 and a half. And, and that half, just got yeah. too high for us to take. That was initially one of the ones... Um, that I wanted to take, but it just got too high for me. So that's another one there. Another one I do like, I should probably mention, I kind of like Zay Flowers as well. You could go with that and Line Star likes it. Right now the line is 59 and a half receiving yards. Line Star's projection is 67. Consensus is there as well at 64. Um, I mean, he had 111 receiving yards the last time he faced the Bengals. The only thing that I think about is if, you know, the Ravens get out to kind of a lead in this one, they could shy a little bit away from the passing game and just kind of give it to Derrick Henry. That's the only and the addition of course of Deontay Johnson I'm curious to see how you know he's gonna fit into the mix there that's also an exciting uh acquisition for them so either way should be an awesome game let us know if you've got any locks for this Thursday night contest we're all trying to help each other out and beat the books so you know what to do drop your locks in the comments and uh it also enters you into our contest so let's go three for three on our picks cash some touchdown calls let us know what you got we'll see you guys next time enjoy the game